Hello, in this video we are going to go over the solution of the problem 1631, pass with minimum effort. Imagine that we are given a matrix like this one and the numbers inside this matrix show the height of the different cells and we want to move from the top left corner to the right bottom corner. We have option of selecting different cars with different powers. If I select car 0, I can only move on flat surfaces. If I select car 1, power is 1, so I can move 1 uphill or 1 downhill. But if I face a situation that I need to go 2 uphill or 2 downhill, car 1 cannot perform the job. If I go for car, for example, 4, I can move 4 uphill or 4 downhill. So car N, we can move N uphill or N downhill. That's the power of car. Okay. And also cars with more power, they are more expensive. So we don't want to go for a car with a very high power that we don't need. So our goal is to select the minimum power of car that we need to move from top left corner to the right bottom corner. For example, for this specific matrix, we see that if I want to move from here, I can go from 1 to 1, 1 to 1, 1 to 1, all the way to the down right corner. So I don't need any up or downhill. So I can go for car 0 and we are going to return output at 0. Now let's look at another example. How about this one? I can come here so I need 1. Here is 0, 0, 5. If I come to 1, 2, 2, 2, 5, I need a car 3. How about moving to 1, 3, 5. So I need 1 to 3, I need 2. 3 to 5, I need 2. 5 to 3, I need 2. 3 to 5, I need 2. So if I come to 1, 3, 5, 3, 5, I can perform a job with power 2. That's the answer. We are going to go from 1 to 3, 3 to 5, 5 to 3, and 3 to 5, and I only need car with power 2. I still can select a car with a large power, for example, power 10, and come to here and so 1 to 2, 2 to 8, 8 to 2, 2 to 5, but that is not what we are looking for. We are looking for a car with a minimum power that can do the job for us. Let's look at another example for this one. So 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5. So if I go in that direction, car with power 1 is enough. Okay, with this analogy, now we are going to start writing the code. The first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to find which car is better. We can do binary search for the cars and select the car that could work when we are checking using BFS. Let's start doing that. For doing that, I'm going to have two pointers, left and right. Let's say left pointer is a car with power zero and right pointer is a car with a very huge power, maybe 1000 or 1 million power. And then we are going to start a while loop. As far as left is less than the right. First we find the middle. So we say mid equals left plus right divided by two. So let's say we have a function that can tell me if with this power that is possible or not. So I'm saying if input of middle is possible to reach to the right bottom cell in that case move right to the middle so for example this was a left and this is my right so I find the middle maybe something for example here at 3 and then I say, okay, it is possible car 3 is working. Now I have to search this section, yeah? So for doing that, I'm going to move this right pointer all the way into the middle. And now I'm going to search this section. But what if it is not possible to do that? I have to search the other section greater than 3. So I go and say, else left equals meet plus one. 
if I come and check car 3 and see oh that doesn't work so then I move left all the way to the right but this left doesn't come to 3 because 3 doesn't work so it has to go to uh, number 4 because 3 doesn't work so I have to search here to hear them that's the reason we have this plus one here and at the end I just need to return left or right they will be equal based on this condition any of them will tell me what is the optimum power of the car that I need and that will be our solution now let's make that function that we need so we said we have a can reach destination I give it a car power and I want to say this car 3 has enough power to do the job or yes or no for doing that we are going to define a function so I need to import DQ from collections and say from collections import DQ so the first thing that I'm gonna do is to say Q equals DQ and I'm going to give the left corner to that say so what is the left corner it's 0 and 0 also I'm going to make an empty set called scene and then we say while Q RC equals Q dot pop left and if R equals R equals the number of rows so let's say number of rows I can define it actually here um, my number of rows as R C equals length of grid and length of grid zero and we can say if r equals r minus one and c equals c minus one it means that i reach to the destination so in that case i just say return true if it is not first i'm going to add that to my scene and say r c is now seen and i'm now going to search around it and say for neighboring R neighboring column in four directions if an R is in the bounding of the matrix and also NC and also the point or the location is not in the scene in that case current difference equals absolute value of two things that we're comparing one is grid and R NC and the other one is great R and C so I want to know so when I'm here I read the R and C and then we go for the neighborings and when I'm visiting a neighbor I want to know what is the level of power that I need and I calculate that one and say if that current difference is less or equals than that midpoint that we read as the input to the function if that's the case we come and say scene dot at n r n c we say okay that is a valid point and q dot append n r n c okay let's run the algorithm so I need a car with minimum power of 5 for performing movement from the top left corner from 1 to 10 in this matrix so let's see what path we took so for example I can come from 1 to 7 I need 6 so that's not the pass I can come from 1 to 3 that is 2 3 to 5 that is 2 5 to 3 that is 2 3 to 10 that is 7 that is not the pass okay I can go from 1 to 3 that is 2 3 to 8 that is 5 8 to 7 that is 1 
and 7 to 10 that is 3 okay that's the path so we took the 1 to 3 3 to 8 8 to 7 and 7 to 10 and if I do that I only need a car with power 5 now let's talk about time and space complexities for time complexity we are doing a binary search for finding optimum car power and for doing that we need the log of the k and k is just a constant number uh, the big number we selected for example if it's a 1 million that k will be 1 million and it depends on the number we select but that is gonna be a constant number also in this function we are performing bfs and for that one we are visiting each node only once so the time complexity is going to be the number of cells which means number of rows multiplication to the number of columns so as a result as log of k is the constant number and multiplication of these two is just number of cells so we are going to end up having order of n for time complexity for the space complexity we are also having order of n because of this created scene set and also the queue that we created okay now let's see how we can solve this problem using dfs on the left side of this screen I'm showing the solution of the BFS and on the right side is the solution that we just wrote that is a BFS so let's see what we are doing so we are going to have an exact same binary search comparison as we had I have left right from a zero to a very big number and then we have the same while loop and we are comparing and we need a function that tells us that we can reach the destination or not but here for devs for search because we are going to use this function in a recursive manner we are going to put the scene function outside of that and set that at zero in every loop in the while loop that we are going to do and also as an input to the function we also input the row and columns that we are going to search because recall the function again for the neighboring nodes and for that one so I need the R and C so at the beginning I put that 0 0 because I start from the top left corner and inside this function when I'm here I just need to put that uh, N R and N C okay for this function let's see what we are doing so if R equals to the number of rows and C equals to the number of columns so we just return true if it is not so we are going to add that to the scene and also we are going search around it again conditions are similar to the BFS so that is just same thing and we calculate the difference and we check if that is less than the midpoint and if it is we add that to the scene and then we are going to use the function here and then for neighboring node for example this if a statement is true we are going to return true okay the time complexity and space complexity of that is again similar because we had this log k for binary search as a constant number and we have the order of n because we are using dfs the space complexity is also similar because we are using that uh, scene uh, set that we are recording observed notes okay this is the solution of the problem 1631 and thank you so much for watching this video